Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. And in the last episode, we left off after um, killing Ulrich, the German knight who followed us. It turns out he had different intentions than we did. We wanted to bring the counterfeiters to justice. Meanwhile, he wanted to eliminate them to make sure they didn't talk about his master to Radzig Kobola. Now, the problem was is that I got stuck in a barrel and I wasn't able to get out of there and I had to fast travel out and you cannot get back into that room once you get out of it. So I had to restart and basically play the thing over again and the only thing different is that Ulrich actually died outside fighting the bandits as I shot them from afar so we won't have to face him when we go back in there but I'm hoping that the bandits won't decide to attack us because I haven't seen exactly what will happen at this point but we're about to enter the counterfeit mines once again. So hopefully they don't decide to attack us. But I can't get back in there to arrest uh, Jezik, so. Now I have to show up alone. But at least I have all of my nice armor on now. It's all of Ulrich's armor. What do you want here? I don't know you. I'm here at the command of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kobila. Radzig Kobila. The King's Hetman. <laughs> I see. I'm here to place you under arrest. I gathered as much, and you came alone. Ha! Very daring of you, I must say. Okay, so we might have to fight them. Oh, maybe not. I don't need anyone else, we'll say. I'll manage. Sometimes even a king can be deposed without an army. So, I'm a king now, and you want to dethrone me? By the way, who betrayed me? Doesn't matter. That hardly matters, does it? Do you think I won't get a chance to settle up with them? But I hope you don't imagine I'm just going to follow meekly after you like a lamb to the slaughter. Um, yeah, let's say you don't have a choice. I don't know. Why don't you ask the men I hacked my way through to get here, if any of them are still alive? Do you think I'm scared of you? If I give up without a fight, Kobila will hang me. If I fight back, at least I stand a chance. True, but death will come sooner here. Better here by the sword than swinging like a common criminal. If you thought that the last time, you wouldn't have passed up your chance to slip out of the executioner's noose. And you might yet make terms with Sir Radzik somehow. Who knows? Or I'll kill you and have nothing to worry about. Oh, great. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, oh dang. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on here, buddy. Um, so, I need to equip my shield. And we can try and fight him. You know how this one ends. Okay, I need to stay near the light over here. This guy's actually pretty good. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we're shooting him. For sure. Bring it on. I don't want to kill him though, so I don't want to headshot him. Don't die, bro. I'm trying to gut shot him mostly. Yes, he gave up. Excellent. Riddled with arrows. Please, please. I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. We already tried you can talk that. All you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go. Perfect. So objective complete. Let's go. Master Fayfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fayfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. 
Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. All right. So there we go. We got past that little glitch there. So for those of you guys that are wondering, no, don't fast travel out of there. Make sure that you finish uh, the quest line before leaving, because you, once you leave, you cannot get back in there. And look at that. After all that I've done in the main quest line here, I, it's, I'm still at odd terms in Rate. That's that's really frustrating. Oh, well, what can you do? At least uh, I paid them off that one time, so... Uh, attack on the road? Nah. Most Oh, it's cumins. Dang. Get your bow out, Henry. That was a headshot for sure. There, he's dead. What? How many headshots is this guy going to take? Ah, oh, and I missed that. Dang it. Oh, gosh. I swear if I get killed by these guys, I'm not going to be happy. I just don't get how that guy isn't dead yet. Look, it's just like glancing off them. Come on. Alright, see ya. I am out of here. I'm not dealing with that. Cumans are so overpowered, it's not even funny. Still following? They are. Looks like one of them broke off. Yes, he gave up. I hate when they run off like this. That's so annoying. Whatever. Just get out of here. Oh, scumbag humans. I don't even want anything. I can't even hold anything else because I've got so much to sell still, so... Actually, with that in mind, I might I might want to sell some stuff to the Rate Miller while I'm here. The thing is, I don't know exactly how much gold he has. I don't think he has a lot. Anyways, we'll get this done with Saradzig first, and then we can head down to the Miller later. Okay, you can put that away. We'll have to get healed anyways. So we're a little bloodied up at this point. See if we can catch uh, Sir Radzig before he goes to sleep, because then there's no hope of it. This guy is still here. I think he's glitched, uh, this guy. He must be downstairs. Oh, there he is. Are you coming in, Sir Adzig? Hello. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately, I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Yezhek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard asking to see you. Me. Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself he'd be so keen to speak to you. I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Okay. That's kind of weird. Is 
So we have to go to the tower, which is over, looks like just on the other side. Hopefully I can make it there before dark. Should be able to. Wait, why do I have two things on the map? Get the keys from Bernard. All right, well. This will make it a little bit faster. I could lockpick it to increase my skill, but nah. There's no need. Can we not cut through this gate here? There we are. Oh, dang it. Is he... He must be in the castle. Gone a little bit too far. <laughs> Into the tree. Oh, goodness. Is this guy? Oh, there he is. God be with you. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, so Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. <laughs> Whatever, Bernard. Thanks. Thanks for the key. Oops, wrong way. And back we go. I actually wouldn't mind some of the armor from the guards here. I love yellow and black together. Okay, I think it's just right here. it in here. Where the heck? No, that's not it. Let's go back around again. Ah. Oh, he's only a apothecary. Can't really have him buy much from me because I don't really have anything about that. Or anything that I could sell him, like potions of that matter. I have no idea where I'm going here. Where the heck is this guy's cell? Oh, unlock. Is this it? Yeah, he must be down here. There he is. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. Give me a break. <laughs> if hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor, you're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. 
It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Uh. Do you really want to question the authority of the Margrave? I've always been loyal to the Crown, but what can I do when the Margrave stole my fief? That's not why we're here. I don't care about your conflict with the Margrave. It's your crimes against the King I'm worried about. The King you say you've always been so loyal to. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Okay. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. <laughs> yeah, so true. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. So I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Okay. So I think we already asked about the Crimson Sassau, or maybe we didn't. Crimson? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. Um, I'm going to ask him a few more questions, even Miss though Eric, it seems like we're done. You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. All right. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I have no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. All right. That'll do me Good for to know. Moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Um, I can try. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. Because he could be valuable for Sir Radzig. He kind of knows everything that's been going on. And he was part of the group before, so he... He may be just that, in invaluable, so. Alright, let's go back quickly to Sir Radzig. He's probably gone into his room for, for bed, though, so we probably won't be able to get at him before nightfall, but we can sure try. Wait a second. Why on the map is he over here? 
Oops. He's down here, right? Eh? Okay. On like the side keep. Where is he? It's telling me he's over here. He might be up the stairs. Yeah, he might actually be in the tower there. This guard would get out of the way. Oh, man. Nothing worse than being stuck behind a slow walker. There he is, though. <laughs> there we go. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. Oh, it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. Dang. But if someone at the monastery is perpetrating crimes against the crown... True enough. Why don't I go and arrest King Sigismund of Luxembourg while I'm about it? He's committed a crime or two as well. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasau and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Yezhak didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm, I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Radhads. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Um... As you command. <laughs> All right, so that is the game saved there. So we've got we've got some new objectives here that we have to do. So you have to find out where they're meeting in Sass House. So ask the bailiff, the tavern, and the innkeeper. And it looks like those are just extras. So what I want to do is uh, go to the Rate Mill over here. And I'll actually sleep, and then I'm going to try and sell some of my wares as well. Oh, actually, he's right here. Perfect. So I'll be able to sell beforehand. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Uh... What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're, uh... Properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could. Uh, yes, yes, we know your. The arrangement. We know. Oh, oh, sell. That's that's All what right. I want. All right, so let's see what we can sell. Um, yeah, let's add that because I don't need that. Am I not wearing riding boots? I thought I was. Heavy battle axe. This here. How much money does he have? 3.7? No, he has 1.9. Uh, riveted pauldrons we can give him. And let's haggle. 
Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. All right, let's um, let's ask for six eighty. Agree. A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little, and we'll agree. Aye, right, that would do it. Good, and then I quickly need to go to my horse and add some things. So we can move the axe. I'm sure I can find another one. The duelist, master huntsman, swords. The needle. I'm going to keep that war hammer, though, because that's kind of cool. And we'll sell that. That. Gauntlets. Elongated mail. Two of them. Two of them. He's probably not going to give me money for all this stuff, so. Goblet we can sell. Silver ring we can sell. Um, good. Uh, and Whoop. there we go. So let's I've sell some, some more. So he's got one point two k. So let's see. That, 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 that. Let's look for the cheapest things. One point two K. And I won't haggle. That's fine. Good. So let's put some of this back onto the horse. Now, do I not need these anymore? Yeah, it looks like I don't. So let's just drop those because I've got these these boots on. And let's put all this back to the horse. Anything that's heavy. Plain riding spurs. Let's move two of these to horse. Let's drop those because they're damaged and equip those. Horse, horse, horse. Good. So I think that is it. And I'm way under now, which is excellent. Still wearing Bianca's ring. Good. So now let's just have a little sleep. And in the morning, we'll set off to Sessau. So I'll do till 5 a.m. because by the time we travel to Sessau, I think things should be all right. Everybody should be starting to get up. And we got another game save there. That is so handy, being able to sleep there. Okay. So let's take a look at the map here. Sasao is over here. So let's fast travel there. If we can. And does anyone know how to fix armor? Because I haven't seen any armories or blacksmiths that are willing to take my armor and repair it. So if anyone knows, that would be greatly appreciated. I mean, if I see the Sasau blacksmith, I'll, I'll ask him, but even on my own time when I'm, when I'm having to go back because I die and I have to go back and play a part, I've asked that the blacksmith to repair my armor, but some of them, some of them don't have that option. And the small armorer's kit that I carry with my horse uh, doesn't affect them uh, doesn't fix them if they're too damaged okay so let's start at the alehouse since we're right here oh this is the bailiff good health to you I've got a few questions for you bailiff if you don't mind 
Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained. Though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzik who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzik care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. Well, we just want to help. Sheesh. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sasau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? We're not saying Nothing that, Bailiff. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry, they can't damage anything but each other. And my catch balls go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Okay. Sir Sebastian, who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. Uh, that's probably true, actually. You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travelers come seeking work and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Okay. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that. Or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man. For a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. Alright. So that should clear that up. So where do we need to go next? Where's the closest one? B is next. It's right there. Is wait. Oh, derp. <laughs> Going the wrong way. It's a, just a townswoman there. So yeah, let's ask the innkeeper what he's seen. Good health to you, sir. Good out to you. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? And what's your idea of suspicious? Have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men? Mercenaries, you mean? Yes. There were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week, and others coming and going. They didn't look entirely respectable, but they never made any trouble. And what happened to them? I don't know, they just stopped coming. And I haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. You haven't heard anything about where they went? How could I have? They just stopped coming, and that's that. Hmm. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. They could be meeting at another inn. Everybody in this town gets so defensive. The the moon, for all I know. Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst? They drank like fish. They were rough looking too. Big bearded and scruffy. Aside from that, they mostly kept to themselves. That's not much help. What did they do while they were waiting for someone? They drank. And they played dice. I do remember there were always dice on the table. So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? 
Anywhere there's dice and usually drinks. That's all you need for a game. Although it dawns on me now, I never saw Simon with those men, oddly enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Why, the young Miller. He runs Katzik Mill. Neighbours are always slandering him for trafficking, but who knows? Maybe he just has a knack for business. Okay, so that's two people who appointed us towards the Miller. You don't know where I might find some uh, more dishonourable folk. And why would you want them? You'll set tongues wagging about you. But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. Well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. Like any knacker, I suppose. And there's some strange tales about Miller Simon, too. Okay. But I'd say so we've already asked that. Um. What can you tell me about the knacker? Guess we can quickly go through this here. Him. I was hoping you tell me. Why should I care about him? Okay, so that's what I was looking for, to clear... Anything else? You might not... Yeah, I just wanted to make sure to clear the Thank objective on him. Which it looks oh, like we did. Why off so soon? Sit down for a tankard or a bite to eat. Uh, nope. Got stuff to do. Alright. Are you serious? Let's take a look at the map once again. So, what's this? The Sasau Knacker... We've got the Tanner. Ask the innkeeper at the Wagoners. Where's the Miller? Oh, he's way out there. Alright, well, we'll go to A. Well, we could go to B first, because it's quite close to us. And uh, then we'll go to A, and then we'll swing back to head up towards where the Miller is, I guess. Would he be in here? Maybe he might, might be back here, not sure. It's not in here. There he is. The grave digger. Oh my goodness. Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti knacker in. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. Mm. And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No. I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon, but as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and the bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Hmm, could be. Thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. We are doing a lot of investigating in Sasau today. People shy away from me, except when there's a death. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that is a rotten job. I feel definitely sorry for him. Okay, so yeah, we'll head to A, then back to C, then to B, and then uh, across to D, I guess. But uh, let's speed this up a little bit with my horse. Oh, come on, Pebbles. Wait a second. That is not the right way. Yeah, I think it's just over that bridge there.
Alright. So which one is the tanner? This guy? Jesus Christ be praised. Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. Hmm. When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening. Shouting and bellowing there till nightfall. And then they leave. Probably to get drunk. Okay. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? I... They knocked the stuffing right out of me. <laughs> and nobody does the thing about it. Yeah, I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he care? That's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Ah, could but I have a bow and arrow. <laughs> Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. Nice. All right, um, just quickly, does he sell anything? No, he doesn't. All right, so... What do we have to do over here? We may not be able to do that until later. Take care of the brawlers who meet in the evening behind the Tanner house. Yeah, we're not going to do that just yet. Come here, horse. Uh, there we are. And we need to go to C next, then B, then D. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, I saw that coming. All right. Looks like we're going to have to cross. Oh, yeah, this is the... I forgot this is the place where we can't get across. Asking here, innkeeper. I hope I can be of help to you, man. I'm looking for some people you might know something about. If they come here to drink, maybe, but I won't aid you in any mischief. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern. But they raised such a commotion, I went and complained, and a town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that lot. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. You don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. 
Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Hmm. Do you happen to know where the brawl is? I think these are the ones that are over at, behind the Tanner's house now. Any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things, but I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Then there's Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? Uh, there's talk of the knacker giving... Okay, so he's basically telling me the exact same stuff. Not at all. Would you like something to eat? Or drink? Um, do we need to ask lot. this here? Don't say that. Guess they're always making merry when there's a... That's not quite what I meant. I'd heard there were some stable boys staying here for a long while looking for work. But it took too long and they took to causing trouble. True, but that's nothing new. No. The thing is, there's not many wagons coming through at all. Folk are afraid to travel far in case they get done in by some cutthroats or, God forbid, have their wagons requisitioned by some army. So there are fewer travellers. And some of them must be a little unsavory. I take anyone who turns up. They come one day and leave the next. Maybe with someone else. Past few weeks I've only had trouble with one who skipped off without paying. He just vanished, without a word. Well, he said he lost all his silver to the miller. And he had to go and see him about something. Only he never came back. Left all his belongings here. Do you still have them? Of course not. I sold them all a few days later when he didn't come back. The buyer's gone now, too, before you ask. But there wasn't much there in any case. The seller didn't even cover his bill. Well, that's too bad. All right, so that's covered there. I don't think we're going to have time to do all of this, but we're making some decent headway. Let's uh, fast travel to the monastery since it's like right next to where we need to go next. Who am I asking here? I think I think it's the guy with the broken leg. Yeah, this guy. Uh, uh, what do you want? I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Are you serious? Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sassau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas, oh, don't worry. I've got some questions. How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Jeez. Well, Being a cutthroat. Never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your help. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Uh -huh. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me. Why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? Okay, and there the game is saved, so I'm going to leave it here. We will find out what happens in the next episode. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next time.